हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू एक्सप्रेस वीडियो फॉर ऑल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम मॉड्यूल थ्री कॉन्टेक्स फ्री ग्रामर एंड लैंग्वेजेस सो द क्वेश्चन इज डिफाइन एम्बिगुअस ग्रामर एंड चेक द गिवन ग्रामर इज एम्बिगुअस और नॉट सो वी विल फर्स्टली नो द डेफिनेशन ऑफ एम्बिगुअस ग्रामर सो वॉट्स द डेफिनेशन ऑफ एम्बिगुअस ग्रामर लेट जी इज इक्वल टू वी कॉमा टी कॉमा पी कॉमा एस Here v is variable, t is terminals, p is productions, and s is the starting variable. So be a context-free grammar. Context-free grammar. A grammar G is ambiguous if and only if there exists at least one string, which means that a grammar g is mb gus if and only if there exists at least one string w which which belongs to t star W which belongs to T star for which two or more different past trees exist for which two or more different past tree exists by applying either leftmost derivation or rightmost derivation. by applying either left most derivation lmd or else rmd which is right most derivation derivation rmd for better understanding we will check this grammar is ambiguous or not we will let a statement like uh, we take id plus id multiplication id this is the statement we will take two different production from this grammar and we will prove this statement so we will see here firstly we will take e is equals to e plus e we will use this production and prove this statement with lmd we will use here lmd so we can use both either lmd or rmd here so lmd we use here so now we are putting the variable values from the left side so we put this e is equals to i first so i plus e now i is also a variable here and i is also having one production here so which we will put i is equals to id e is equals to id plus e now we will put this e is equals to e star e because we want id asterisk id so e is equals to id plus e asterisk e now we will put this e equals to i again so e is equals to id plus i asterisk e now i is also a variable so we put directly this is equals to id asterisk e now we will put this e is equals to id plus e i and finally we get the statement id plus id asterisk id so now we will take another production using lmd to get this statement so same we take lmd we take now a production e asterisk e here now our left variable is e we want id plus id which means that we will use this production e is equals to e plus e we put this e here so E is equals to 
e plus e asterisk e now again we will put this e as an i so i plus e asterisk e we put this i as an id so id plus e asterisk e now again we do the same thing here so we put this e as an i asterisk e so now this is also a variable so we put this production as id asterisk e so this is the leftmost derivation so id plus id asterisk i again this i is an so id plus id asterisk id here we got the final statement which we wanted now we will make the positive for both lmds for this derivation and for this derivation both the derivation we will draw pass tree so now we will see now i have drawn the pass tree for the both the production e is equals to e plus e or e equals to e, e asterisk e for the statement id plus id asterisk id so here is the pass tree for e plus e and here is the pass tree for e star e so now we can clearly see that the pass tree for both the production is different as here e plus e and here we can see that e strike e and all the pairs are different so from the definition we can say that if a grammar g is ambiguous if and only if there exists at least one string w which belongs to t star and for which two or more different pass trees exist by applying either leftmost derivation or rightmost derivation so which means that this grammar is ambiguous so thank you for watching our video please subscribe express video for all